Now this is our third installment in trying to create a total commission report based on a proper data set for sales and a two-way lookup table. Now in last video, we did it in two steps. We did a helper column doing our two-way lookup with two X lookups and multiplying each row times the sales. And then we came up here and did some ifs. But in this video, we want to create a single cell formula that will spill the results. Now I already did a video on this. And this formula was too complicated. But luckily, our friend Excel Lambda said there's a better way. Now we're going to use lambda, which defines a function, and by row, which allows us to take the function and iterate row by row over a particular range. And to make the formula easier to understand, let's first build the formula to spill the results just for Joe. Then we'll see a fundamental problem with our formula. And then we'll jump over and solve the problem with lambda and by row. Now the first thing we want to do is create a simulated helper column calculating all the commissions for Joe. So we'll start off by using XLOOKUP. Lookup array, I want to look up every single product. Control, Shift, Down Arrow, Control, Backspace, comma. Lookup array, I'm going to try and find a match here, comma. And I would like just this row for Joe, but when I copy it down, I want it for Sue. So the second part of the two-way lookup is to look up the particular sales rep. So we don't want that. We want a second X lookup. And here I'm just looking up Joe, comma. We need to match here, comma, and then return the correct commission rate. Now when I close parentheses and close parentheses, this spills the entire column looking up Joe's commission rate for every row. Now of course, that's too many commission rates, so F2. And at the end, in parentheses, I want to say how many of you in this column, Control, Shift, Down Arrow, Control, Backspace, are equal to Joe. Close parentheses. Now when I hit Enter, I have a column with all the commission rates just for Joe. F2, now we multiply all of those commission rates by the sales. Control Shift Down Arrow, Control Backspace. When I hit Enter, now I have all of the commissions. And those are just for Joe. So at the top, now we sum. And at the end, close parentheses and Control Enter. We get the correct amount. But now if we F2 and try to iterate down this range, we don't want to look up just Joe. I need to look up all four. In addition, right here, double click. We need to check in this column for each sales rep. When I Control Enter, we get a value error. F2, the reason why we're getting an error is because right there, the dimensions are one column by four rows. And all of these are one column by 56 rows. We're not able to do an array calculation within an array calculation unless we use lambda and by row. Now lambda will allow us to just define that as a function in the worksheet. And then by row will allow lambda to go row by row through the sales rep names. So after the equal sign, by row, we need to tell by row this range right here. That's the range we'll iterate over row by row. And when we comma, with lambda, we're allowed to define a function in the worksheet. So we use lambda. Now lambda and by row are working together here. But in order for lambda to communicate with by row and go row by row, inside of lambda, we have to define a parameter or a variable. I'm going to call it r for row. You can name it anything you want, comma. Now, calculation, all the rest of this is the function that lambda is defining. And guess what? Now we just take that variable r, and wherever we used h10 to h13, now I put an r. Same with right here, r. Close, close, and when I hit Enter, that is absolutely amazing. By row and lambda allowed us to do that array within array calculation with no problem by just going row by row. All right, thanks to Excel Lambda for that amazing formula. 
which is, of course, touching the upper end of what is possible with Excel worksheet formulas. Most of the time, you're going to do one of these two-step formula solutions. But when you need to spill, there's a way to do it. All right, we'll see you next video for the fourth installment of how to create this total commission report.